Hey, hey, what do you say we have a look at this 2019? I believe this is 2019. It is 2019. 20 car multi pack. What's so special about this multi pack? Well, first off, for me, it has two bone shakers in it. I love bone shakers. That is an exclusive paint job to a multi pack only. I don't know if it's limited to the 20 pack or just any multi pack, but you can only get this purple bone shaker with flames in a multi pack. But here's something interesting. You see that right there? That is a basic treasure hunt. Yes, it is. What is it doing in this pack? I checked all other 20 packs here. And yes, uh, that was in every 20 pack. It might have been in a different position. But not all of them had two bone shakers in it. And uh, this was the only one with a treasure hunt in it. Not saying that this is a rare one. I'm just saying out of the three that I was looking at, the only constant was this car. That did not appear in any other of the three 20 packs that I was looking at in the retail store. So, what do you say we uh, open this up and have a good look? And again, I don't know what's exclusive to a multi-pack that you won't find on a single. But I know that is on a single card because I already own it. So, yeah. And I think that's also on a single card because I already own it. And, of course, that comes with the Super Chromes. And, anyway, what do you say we stop babbling and uh, get these out of the package? All right, we have them out of their package. But they just seem to be rested in this cardboard tray with this uh, preformed uh, acrylic clamshell here. So, we're just going to lift this off just like that. I think this is called the Carbonic. Again, I don't know if this is exclusive. Uh, an exclusive paint job to this car. I mean, to this uh, case. I don't know. But I know this is a really good track car. We'll be testing these on our track as well. Again, I think this is a Torino, maybe. Uh, what is this? Not seeing a name there. No, I don't know if that's a Torino. Maybe a Cuda. I don't know. I'm not really good at that. Could be a Ford. So like a Ford emblem right there. Galaxy, maybe. Anyway, again, I don't know if this is a an exclusive. Let me just get some plastic rub there, probably from being shifted around and ship, shipping. I think a little thumb wear. I'll, thumb polishing will take care of that, as it seems to have done already. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. This one is done. This is a uh, Camaro. This is done with green windows. This is done in a pearl white. Maybe you can see that. Let's get this up close so you can really see. Done in pearl white. Let's see if I can get a nice focus on that. With a nice metallic blue graphic along with some black backdrop there. Black swooshes over the rear quarters. Black racing stripe down the... I'll try this on the track, too. All of these are getting tried out on the track. This one feels a little heavy. It's got a die-cast body and a plastic base. It doesn't seem to have any super rolling action. Haven't seen this on the pegs yet. If I have, I've overlooked it. And if I have, it was probably in a different color, so I don't know. Let's get this guy over here. What is his name? I forget. Gazilla GT. Gazilla GT. This is an X racer. I'm sure you're going to find this on uh, the pegs individually in the main lines, but it may be a different color. I don't know. But I forget his name, too. I mean, some of these cars I'm not real familiar. Bedlam. Get it? Bed. And you got the engine in the back there, causing all kinds of havoc. Looks like this might be a good track car. So, again, we'll have to test that out. And I don't know if this is an exclusive color to a multi-pack. Any input, please, let me know. Let's see here. What do we have? This is the F1 Racer. So, it's a die-cast body, plastic chassis. 
great looking purple wheels, but I don't know how he's going to do on a track. He sits so low. Maybe on regular track, but I don't know on my race crate that I have set up. I have regular track too, but I just haven't got around to setting that up as a permanent fixture. The race crate was just so easy. Again, I don't know if this is this is a Chevy Volt with a parachute. Again, I don't know if this color is exclusive to a multi-pack. I just don't know. But now I do know that this one is an exclusive because I love to collect bone shakers. And uh, I seek, seek them out. And uh, at the start of the year, I always look at the Hot Wheels mainline list. And no, this wasn't on the individual carded mainline list. So that's how I figured out it is an Exclusive color to a multi-pack only. And this is the full roof version. And it's got great metallic paint. Good spinning wheels too. And, and the bone shakers always do well on the track. And again, this is the Z-Rod, I think it's called. See the Z? Something Z? Yeah, the Z-Rod right there. Yeah. It's got nice big wheels, but... Well, they spin pretty good. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I haven't seen this. I mean, I've seen Z-Rods in red in the pack for this year. But I haven't seen it in flat black with the green stripes or rims. So, I don't know. This car is kind of boring here, you know. This is a Porsche 918 Spider. And what is this guy? This is the Carbonic. This is right there. Carbonic. It's kind of a wicked car. I don't think I've tried one of these on my track yet, but at the end of the video, we'll run some of these down the track and, and see how they fare. And who we have here. Who knows who we have? It doesn't say. However, this casting was first released in 2014, if I'm reading that correctly. Looks like a great track car. We'll put that to the test. This is our treasure hunt. You see the little emblem right back there? Right there. This is a treasure hunt. I know I already have this carded. And uh, Treasure Hunt X Racer for 2019. Look at that. It's just sitting in a multi-pack. This is a uh, tuned Chevelle. I think it was a 69. Uh... I think it was a 69 Chevelle. Yeah, it's a 69 Chevelle. And uh, that was exciting to find that. That was really cool. Now, there. I haven't touched it yet. Now I have. I've touched the 2019. Treasure Hunt. X-Racer 69 tuned to Chevelle. I've looked at this, and I've looked at this on card, and I passed it up, and I passed it up. So now I don't have to buy it. Stop anguishing over it, because it came into my multi-pack. I got that out of my system. Get it off my bucket list. But I'm sure it's a nice track car. And But again, I don't have to buy one for 99 cents now. This looks like it will be a wicked track car. But again, we don't know. I don't know what the name of this vehicle is. But uh, see the Hot Wheels logo there. It's got like these soccer ball fender covers. Not a big fan of any sports themed anything. So I don't buy the Hot Wheels sports cars when I see them. And I mean the ones that say sports and don't have a basketball or football on them. Yeah, that's not for me. No, thank you. This one here. I think it's 16 Angels. I believe this is what they call him, 16 Angels. This car does phenomenal on the track. It is so fast. It almost looks like cornrows there. But it's nice to have them in green. It really is. The green and the bronze there. The chassis painted in that copper bronze. Very, very handsome car. It'll probably look really nice smoking other cars on the track. Or maybe getting smoked. I don't know. This car does nothing for me. This is called the Fastmaster or... Yeah, the Fastmaster. I got it in blue for the Hot Wheel 50 racing team from the 50th anniversary. 
And I think it looks good because of, because of the paint job. Uh, in spite of the car detail, I, I really don't care for this car. And it doesn't do well on the track. At least my blue one didn't. So, yeah. Now I got two cars that I can load. Sport, I know I have this on card. Maybe I'm confusing it. No, I'm not. Hold on. Look at that. I turned around, and there it was. See that? There it is. So, yeah. This is by no means an ex isn't exclusive to the multi-pack. This is a mainline Hot Wheel that you can pick up anywhere for 99 cents. And if you're at Target every other week, it's 11 for $10. So, that's a good time to stock up on your Hot Wheels. And here is another bone shaker, which I already purchased this on the mainline card for 99 cents. And uh, I'll always buy bone shakers. I really will. Because I just think it's a fantastic vehicle. I actually got a few of these bone shakers with metal bottoms as well. Not this one. This was a plastic bottom. But yeah. So yeah, that's been my look at the 20 car multi-pack with, I know for sure, an exclusive color. Only comes in multi-packs. And a 2019 X-Racer tuned to 69 Chevelle Treasure Hunt. As you can see right there on the quarter, there is your Treasure Hunt logo. That is pretty cool, I must say. Exciting. So, we're going to take a brief pause, and we're going to try some of these cars on a track as a bonus. He's got These are our 20 cars from the multi-pack. We just lined them up in rows of four because we have four lanes. And we're just going to go ahead and do a, a race to see what happens. The goal is to see who gets through. Our gate here first, we're using the race crate that I re previously reviewed. Whoever goes first, we're just going to eliminate the rest of them just quickly. We're going to see how these uh, cars that were packed into this 20-pack actually work. And uh, so, yeah, go ahead, line them up. No particular order except for the order that we laid them in at random. Okay. That's it. This All right. One. Okay, let it go. And who made it through? It looks like uh, the, jet one. the jet was number one. As you can see, he was in number one. And the Camaro made it through. And who failed? Fail! They are garbage. So, yeah, not good track cars. However... There is hope for him. So what we'll do is we'll set him down here. Maybe we'll go all the way through elimination. But he is number one. So how do we want to do this? We'll set him back over by the start. Go all the way over there. Just don't grab him again until the end. Okay. And you know, he actually won that round. Okay. So. All right. Line him up. All right. So you, we have that tuned 69 Chevy treasure hunt in lane one. And we have that super chromes. I don't know what it's called in lane two. We have the X-Racers, I forgot what it's called in lane three. And we have that, I believe it's called uh, the Bedlam. Yeah, in lane four. So uh, let's see what happens. Wow, they all made it. But number three... Which was the X Racer yeah, went through. So who went through number twice? Number four was Bedlam. So he'll get another opportunity at the end there. But uh, yeah, the number, the uh, tuned was number one. one and uh, he finished third. But we'll call him out right here, right? Yeah. So out is right there. Next. So you got two number ones right there. We have our weird soccer ball fendered thing in number four there. We set these guys here. I'm not sure what. Oh, that's Fastmaster at number three. I'm not sure what that more blue is. And we have the exclusive painted solid top bone shaker in lane number one. Now we have to see 
how these guys perform and we're set over here so yeah you can go ahead buddy and now let it rip Wow! Oh, the bone shaker was number one. As you see, he went through first. And, uh, yeah, so, wow. Now, yeah, like I said, bone shakers are really good on the track. And uh, this guy, I forgot, he was number three. Um, how could he be number three? He must have been number two, because number two's popped and nobody else made it through. So, number twos, go down there. That Fastmaster failed us before in blue, and why wouldn't it fail us now in red? I am not surprised. All right, so line them up. We have the Z-Rod in lane one. Oh, I guess I should do my job. I did right there. It's reset. I'm not sure what that car is called, but yeah, it's in flat black with green. And uh, what is that one? Oh, that's the Bolt. And so let's get this in mental here. We have the Z-Rod in lane one. We have that weird black thing there in lane two. We have the Volt in lane three. And we have the open top bone shaker in lane number four. So, uh, yeah, anytime you're ready, you can let it rip. And the Bone Shaker takes it again because he was in lane four. And the Z-Rod comes in next. So, yeah, Bone Shaker advances. You got two Bone Shakers in the number one spot. And the Z-Rod will go down to contention. Okay. Yeah, so that guy failed. Not to, not to say we won't try him again because we will. Uh, but for this purpose of this multi-pack review he's out so uh we have whatever that is i forgot what that was anyway he's in lane one then we have the f1 racer in lane two then we have i think that's 16 angels in lane three and we have uh the audi quattro in lane four so yeah you can drop the hammer on that anytime you want Whoa! Whoa! The Audi failed! And the F1 was actually quite... So yeah, this guy was lane three. And, uh... Wow, well, so the other two didn't even bother to make the hoop. They kind of failed uh, somewhere inside that system. Now, I'm not going to completely blame these cars for not doing this hoop. This track is a little tough to navigate, more so than regular track, because you have a lot of things to contend with as a car here with a lot of ribs, you know? So, you know, when I set up a regular track with regular loops and long, smooth runs, then these these, these cars are probably going to fare better. So. See that? Yeah, very thin little tires up front there. All right, so yeah, I want you to line those up and let's uh, start eliminating. We have this weird blue guy in one. We have uh, Bedlam in two, Z Rod in three, and the F1 Racer in four. And we're set down there, so you can drop that hammer anytime you wish. And boy, Boy, they all, oh, what a race. The race was on. As you can see, the race was on for the ones that made it through anyway to begin with. So this is when the competition starts to get heavy. So number one was this guy. He's just showing his medal. You see that? So he will go over here as a number two contender. And we, between these three, they can go back and fight over one of the spots we have left over. We have four cars. So you have Bedlam in lane two. Oh, 
by. So you have uh, the Camaro in lane one, the Bedlam in lane two, the Z Rod in lane three, and the F1 Racer in lane four. And we're all set at the gate. The gate reset, and you can drop the hammer anytime you wish. Nice. Nice. It looks like to me number two came through, which is Bedlam. There you are. So now we got down to three. We want to get this down to one because ultimately I don't care. It's all about who the last car is. Go ahead. All right. So we have the, the Camaro still has a, a shot. He's in lane one. Z-Rod, lane two. And the F1 racer is in lane three. Let's see who advances. It looks like... It looks like the F1 racer has advanced. And the last one out, guess what? Camaro is eliminated. He was in lane one. It was the last one to pass through. So... He was. He did well. He fought well. But guess what? Now I just need one car out of this lot. See who who advances. And, and it looks like Z Rod smoked the F one racer. So you can see Z-Rod was in lane one. He was the first one through. So yeah, there's that. So Z-Rod will go here. And the rest of these cars here are eliminated. But they'll, they'll get more track time in the future. So I'm going to run all of these cars down here. One, two, three, four, five. No particular order. If you can't make it, you can't make it as a car. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have eight cars, so we're going to start. Well, we have eight cars. We're going to start off with uh, four cars. And again, same elimination. We got the, uh, the purple... Solid top bone shaker in lane number one. We have that X Racers weird car in a lane number two. I think he's called Carbonic. And they have, I think that's Jet Set. I'm not sure, but he's in lane three. And Bedlam is in lane four. So let's see. You can drop the hammer and, and see what happens. And it looks to me like, uh, guess what? Again, once again, the bone shaker, lane one, is through again. So these guys. And lane number two was this guy. And these rest of these guys are done. So this guy can go down there, wait for the next round. Line up your next four cars, drivers. Get in your cars and start your engine. <laughs> Something like that. So we have that weird blue car, which I still don't know the name to because I'm too lazy to go look it up. Nah, I looked. I don't think I see it. B D D O one. I don't know what that is. Okay, we'll call it that. Yeah. So anyway, Z Rod's in lane two. 16 Angels is in lane three, and we have, again, a Bone Shaker uh, hollow top in lane four. So now let me reset our gate here real quickly. And, uh, yeah, you drop it anytime you want. Let's see who fares well here. Ooh! Looks like the bone shaker smoked everybody to the gate. Lane four, there was a bone shaker, and here we are. Did. And uh, lane two, 
I think was this six, no nope, lane three was sixteen angels. He advances. The Z rod is finally out. It is look. It, it flew itself into the Yeah, well he's done. So yeah. He's done. So yeah. Are we down? We have our two number ones here. They've been number one the entire time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show down these guys against each other to see who wins. And uh, not exactly sure if my rules are right, but that's the way I'm playing them. I think it's only fair that uh, these guys have been number one the entire time. And uh, so let those two show down. And, and it looks to me like this X racer has taken it, which means the 16 Angels is going home. It was a nice try. Maybe next season. So, yeah. This is another contender here. So, now we're going to show down between these two bone shakers here. I'm reset at the gate there. And uh, it's all coming down to who wins. Do no, it's a two shakers. No, 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 no. That guy already ran his. Now it's between these guys to, to advance. And it looks like the solid top bone shaker wins. And there's one reason for that for sure. It's because he's a solid top, so he has more weight. He's going to drop faster on a gravity drop. So now it comes down to who is number one in this uh, multi-pack. Right there. We're, we're here. Let me reset my gate here. Is it scientific? No. It's one try. So... I'm not going to even try to bet because I don't know anything can happen on any given Sunday. Although this is Saturday. But go ahead. Drop the hammer. Oh, the bone shaker was by a mile. Lane number one. Mm -hmm. By a mile. Mm -hmm. Tell you, those solid top bone shakers, they are a force to be reckoned with on it's just interesting that the one that won is an exclusive paint job to the multi-pack. It just so happens to be a solid top bone shaker, which heck actually performs well on a track. Anyway, so yeah, winner, 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 chicken dinner. So yeah, it's been my look at the Hot Wheels 2019 multi-pack, which is where we found an exclusive bone shaker. And uh, Hot Wheels, Tuned, X-Racer, Treasure Hunt. See you in the next video. Say bye, Doug. Bye.